From the fuel-efficient Chevy Chevette to the innovative design of the Chevy Corvair, each of these forgotten gems tells a unique story of automotive history. What happened to these cars that once captured the hearts of drivers? Why did some models, like the versatile Chevy Avalanche, fail to stay in production despite the repeal? Well, let's talk about the top 10 forgotten Chevy classics lost to time. And for the best ones, stay tuned till the end. Number 10. The Chevy Chevette The Chevy Chevette was introduced during a time when fuel efficiency was crucial due to rising fuel prices. Debuting in 1976, the small subcompact car was Chevy's answer to the growing popularity of imports like the Toyota Corolla and Honda Civic. The Chevette was lightweight and economical, making it an appealing option for budget-conscious drivers. However, it wasn't known for luxury or power. With a 1.4-liter engine producing just 53 horsepower, the Chevette was one of the least powerful vehicles Chevy ever made. Although it wasn't flashy, the Chevette was reliable and served its purpose during its production run. It was eventually phased out in 1987, leaving behind a legacy of practicality. Number 9. The Chevy Avalanche the Chevy Avalanche was a standout for its versatility, blending the features of a full-size truck and an SUV. One of its most notable innovations was the Midgate, which allowed users to expand the cargo bed by folding down the rear seats, offering more space when needed. This design made the Avalanche unique and practical for various tasks. Launched in 2001, it quickly gained a loyal fan base, but it never became a huge hit in terms of sales. Despite winning Motor Trend's Truck of the Year award in 2002, the Avalanche faced dwindling demand over the years. By 2013, Chevrolet decided to discontinue the model, though it still has a dedicated group of fans who appreciate its clever design. Number 8. The Chevy Citation the Citation was introduced in 1980, right when car manufacturers were under pressure to produce more fuel-efficient vehicles. The 1970s oil crisis had made gas prices skyrocket, and car buyers were looking for smaller, more economical cars. Chevy's answer to this demand was the Citation. It was a front-wheel drive compact car that replaced the aging Chevy Nova. Upon its release, the Citation was a hit, with buyers flocking to dealerships. In fact, the Citation sold over 800,000 units in its first year alone, making it one of the best-selling cars at the time. However, the Citation's success was short-lived. Not long after it hit the roads, reports of quality issues started to emerge. Problems with the brakes and transmission were among the most common complaints, and these issues tarnished the car's reputation. As a result, sales began to plummet. Chevy tried to address the issues with various updates and improvements, but the damage had been done. By 1985, Chevy decided to stop production of the Citation, and the model was soon forgotten. Despite its quick rise and fall, the Citation played a key role in Chevy's history as one of the company's first front-wheel drive cars, paving the way for future models. Number 7. The Chevy Monza the Chevy Monza came along at a time when fuel efficiency was becoming a huge concern for car buyers. This was due to the oil crisis of 1973, which had sent fuel prices soaring. Introduced in 1975, the Monza was designed to be a compact, sporty vehicle that did not compromise on gas mileage. Its sleek body style and the option of a V8 engine made it appealing to drivers looking for both performance and efficiency. The Monza shared some of its design elements with the Chevy Vega, which helped keep costs down. However, the Monza faced stiff competition, particularly from the Ford Mustang II, which was another small, sporty car. Despite its sharp looks and variety of engine options, including a four-cylinder, V6, and even a V8, the Monza never quite reached the popularity Chevy had hoped for. It did have its fans, but it struggled to make a big impact in a competitive market. By 1980, production of the Monza came to an end, and it slowly faded into automotive history. Number 6. The Chevy SSR the Chevy SSR, short for Super Sport Roadster, was unlike anything else on the road when it was introduced in 2003. Chevy took a bold step by introducing a vehicle that combined the look of a retro truck with the performance of a modern sports car. With its eye-catching design, retractable hardtop, and a powerful V8 engine under the hood, the SSR definitely stood out. The 6-liter V8 engine produced an impressive 390 horsepower, making it one of the most powerful pickup trucks available at the time. While the SSR had plenty of style and power, it came with a high price tag that limited its appeal to a broader market. It also received mixed reviews, with some critics loving its unique design, while others were unsure of its practicality. The SSR never managed to achieve mass-market success, and by 2006, Chevy decided to discontinue it. 
Today, however, the SSR has become a collector's item, especially for those who appreciate its distinctive blend of retro and modern features. Number 5. The Chevy Lumina APV The Chevy Lumina APV was Chevrolet's entry into the growing minivan market when it was launched in 1990. What made the Lumina APV stand out was its futuristic design. Its bold, space-age appearance caught the attention of many, though it didn't appeal to everyone. The Lumina APV had a plastic composite body which helped make the vehicle lighter and more fuel efficient. However, the design had its drawbacks. Many people complained that the minivan had poor visibility and its handling wasn't as smooth as some of its competitors. Despite these issues, the Lumina APV was an interesting experiment in the minivan market, especially since it represented Chevy's effort to break away from traditional designs. By 1996, Chevy decided to replace the Lumina APV with a more conventional Chevy Venture, which better suited the taste of minivan buyers at the time, although it wasn't a massive hit. Number 4. The Chevy Corsica The Corsica hit the market in 1987 as a compact car that aimed to provide affordable and reliable transportation. It was built on the GM L-body platform, sharing this foundation with the Chevy Beretta. Chevy positioned the Corsica as a family-friendly vehicle, perfect for those who needed a practical car for everyday use. While it was reasonably successful in terms of sales, the Corsica didn't make a huge splash in the automotive world. Under the hood, the Corsica offered various engine options to cater to different types of drivers. For those focused on fuel efficiency, there was a 2.0-liter inline-four engine. On the other hand, for those who wanted a bit more power, they could opt for the 3.1-liter V6. This range of options allowed Chevy to offer a balance between practicality and performance. However, despite these choices, the Corsica was never known for exceptional performance or unique features. By 1996, Chevy decided to discontinue the Corsica, making way for newer, more modern models. Number 3. The Chevy Caprice the Caprice has a long legacy going back to the 1960s as one of Chevrolet's full-size sedans. However, the 1991-96 version of the Caprice is often forgotten by many. When it was redesigned in 1991, Chevy gave it a fresh, rounded look that was quite different from the boxy styles of its predecessors. With its aerodynamic shape, that was meant to keep up with the more modern design trends of the time. While the new design drew attention, it didn't gain the widespread popularity that Chevy had hoped for with the regular buyers. Number 2. The Chevy Vega In 1971, Chevrolet launched the Vega, a compact car that had people excited. The Vega was stylish and affordable, which made it instantly popular. What really made the car special, though, was its engine. Chevy equipped the Vega with an all-aluminum engine block, which was seen as cutting-edge technology at the time. The Vega even managed to win awards, such as Motor Trend's Car of the Year in 1971. It seemed like the Vega was on track for long-term success. But soon, problems started to surface. The Vega's engine, while innovative, wasn't as reliable as Chevy hoped. And number one, the Chevy Corvair. The Corvair made its debut in 1960, and right from the start, it stood out from the crowd. What made the Corvair so different? It featured a rear-mounted, air-cooled engine, a rare sight in American cars at the time. This design helped give the Corvair a distinctive look and feel, with smooth handling that drivers appreciated. However, the Corvair's unique feature soon attracted some unwanted attention. In 1965, consumer advocate Ralph Nader published a book titled Unsafe at Any Speed, where he singled out the Corvair, claiming that it was unstable and dangerous, particularly in emergency handling situations. So which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comments section below. And for more such amazing videos, do subscribe to our channel.